Hello everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make your first ever iPhone application. I will also be covering what the iPhone SDK is, as well as what it includes, the basics of Xcode, and ultimately how to develop your application. I will also try to make this tutorial as quickly and efficiently as possible, but I don't make any promises on entertaining you. So let's jump right into this tutorial, guys. Now to download the iPhone SDK to create your application, head on over to developer.apple.com forward slash iPhone. From there, you can make a free developer account with Apple and then download the SDK. So here in my doc are the three applications in which the iPhone SDK is mainly focused around. However, these are not all the applications included in the SDK, but this is the main foundation of creating your application. The SDK includes Xcode, Interface Builder, and the iPhone Simulator. Xcode, as the application title suggests, is the application you will use to be coding your iPhone application. Next up, Interface Builder. This is the program that you will use to create your user interface as well as buttons and text fields in your application. Lastly, we have the iPhone Simulator. This program will take your user interface from Interface Builder as well as your coding from Xcode and form it into one viewable application on your virtual iPhone, if you will, so you can test out your application. So without wasting any more time, guys, let's create your first ever iPhone application. Now I'll be giving you a brief, quick overview of Xcode and how it works so you can hopefully better understand it during this tutorial. So I'll just go down here in my dock and launch the application here, Xcode. So when you launch the application, to start a new project, go to File, New Project, or Open Apple N, if you're going to use a shortcut, and a menu will pop up. From here, you can choose what type of application template you're going to use for your application. First off, you have your navigational-based application. This template will allow you to give a straight-down view of the application. For example, the Notes and Contacts applications on your iPhone. They just have text that can link or connect to another page in the application, and it basically just gives you a straight-down view of the application usually for very simple applications of that sort. Next off, you have your OpenGL application. This template is mostly used for gaming and hardcore animation, so we won't be getting very much in depth on this template right now due to the fact that we want to create our first iPhone application to be very simple and easy. So we'll be skipping that for right now. The next template you'll see on the Xcode is your tab bar application, a template you may recognize from the App Store application or the iTunes application on your iPhone. It's basically an application with tabs at the bottom of the screen, usually linkable to other actions or pages in the application itself. You can customize the icons, colors, and images of the tabs as well. Then you have your utility application, which consists of usually two main views in the application. The special thing about this template is you, you can do a 180 degree rotation, so when you turn your device, it adjusts to the position of your screen, which is quite cool. The next template you can choose from is your view-based application. This is really fun to play around with to learn more about the iPhone SDK and such. It's a simple one-page template that you can just really screw around with to learn the basics of Xcode and the iPhone SDK. SDK, and it's probably one of the simplest templates that you can choose from in Xcode. And the last template you can choose for your application in Xcode here is the window-based application. This template is basically a task that runs inside a window, and it's probably the easiest um, template out there, if anything, and it's a gr really a great starting point for anybody new to the whole Xcode and iPhone SDK, or a new developer just starting out, and it's a very simple and nice design to it. So guys, let's start creating your iPhone application. So um, I'm just going to select the window-based application here and then click Choose. And we're going to title this Hello World Tutorial. And if you guys know what Hello World is already, that's awesome. It'll kind of give you a head start on this tutorial. For those of you who don't know who, what Hello World is or what it's all about, it's just a basic script or program or code for a computer, and it's some programming language, and it's a great first program for starters. I really recommend it. Um, so once again, if you have prior knowledge of Hello World, that's great. However, if you don't understand it, just follow along with me. So now I'm going to run you guys through a quick overview of the Xcode interface. So up here, you have your... Um, your preferences. You, from here you can see your device lists, your um, configurations, your executables, and all of that sort of stuff. Next to that you have your action drop down menu. From here you can add files, groups, targets, executables, all that sort of stuff, and you've got a little um, preference toggle here for some basic preferences also. Next to that you have your breakpoints. This breakpoint menu bar will add breakpoints to your code, activate or deactivate you see here. And then um, you have your build action. This will build your application from your codes and also run it in your iPhone simulator down here in that application. 
Next, when you're building your um, application through the code, you can click this task menu bar and you can view the tasks and monitor the tasks of how your application is um, rendering and all of that sort of stuff and make sure it's just working properly. Next to that, you have your info button. This can be very useful for adding comments to your application and getting all your copyright stuff and all of that stuff and co-signing your application and all that good stuff. Next to that, you have your string matching, which is just basically a search. You can search your application for special files or anything of that sort. I'll just type hello world, and you see the um, files in the application will come up. So that can be very useful. And then lastly, over here, you have uh, all your files and directories in your application. You have your your main folder, you have your classes, your which contains your app delegate.h and m. Then you have your other sources, resources, frameworks, and products. And this product will be your final IPA. So when you're building your applications, you can drag it to iTunes and put it on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So that is just a brief overview of the interface in Xcode. Now I'll be getting to the portion, the coding portion of this tutorial. So to start coding your application, you're going to want to head into the appdelegate.h folder, which is located right here under the main classes folder. So you're going to drop that down and go into the appdelegate.h folder, and I'll just make this bigger for you guys so it's easier for you to see this tutorial. So first off, we're going to um, add an interface builder outlet. So we're going to do that by typing in IB outlet. So we'll type enter and IB outlet. And then right after that, we're going to um, add a of a UI label, so UI label. And then we're going to add a star, and encoding a star most commonly denotes that you're going to make a comment about something or a code. So we will comment on the code hello world label. And also, guys, type this exactly as I type it, otherwise it won't work properly. And then we're going to add a semicolon, which usually ends a code or a comment. And also also another um, common code ending mark is the bracket right here. But we're not going to add a bracket, we're going to add a semicolon, so delete this other bracket over here. And so that is our basic code for right now. And so let's look at the code we have so far. We have an IB outlet, which means we are adding an interface builder outlet, as I mentioned earlier. An IB outlet is a code that we will refer back to when using interface builder, but it basically means that we're gonna we will connect the IB outlet with with something else or refer to another code or button in the application. In this case, the IB outlet is connecting to the UI label, and the UI label is a read-only text field, but when you make it an editable, an editable text field, it will connect to the IB outlet, so the editable text field will appear in the UI label. It sounds very confusing, but when you get used to coding and all this confusing stuff in the iPhone SDK, it will it'll be really easy to understand. So guys, now that we're done with our first code, we're going to add another IB outlet. So do the same thing as above, IB outlet, and we're going to call this the main text field. So main, do a star main text field, and we're going to end it with another semicolon to end that code. Now this text field will display onto the text above onto this label, the UI label above. And if that makes any more sense to you, it's still kind of confusing, but trust me, it will make sense to you eventually. So that is what the UI text field does. So guys, now that we've just done some coding up here in the um, user interface, as you see, now we're going to head into the property codings right here. So to start our, off our new code, we're going to hit enter two times after this UI window down here. So one, two. We're going to add an IB action. So IB action. And then we're going to end the code with a parentheses. So this IB action is going to be used when a button in the application is being pressed or used. And an IB outlet when the, is going to be when the text will appear out of from the label. So this IB action will be, is going to be used into the button. So to add the button to the code, we're going to code in display, display, hello world text, and then end that code with a semicolon. So basically what we just did was add the button, add the, a add the action, the IB action, to a button. And so when we press this, when we press the IB action button, this um, will display this text. It will display the hello world text. So that is basically what we did. So when we press the button, it will display that text. That is all for this episode, guys. I apologize if it wasn't entertaining, which I'm sure it wasn't, but this is going to be part one or an episode one of creating your iPhone application. So today I gave you a quick overview of Xcode and showed you how to add a button to your application. So more will be coming soon, so stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Rate five stars if you found this video helpful, and subscribe if you like my content. Thanks for watching, and peace.